Ha Zainab. How are you doing, sweetheart? Auntie and Nazi, it's so lovely to see you. Really? And yes. it's so lovely to see you in a sari. Yeah. Well, really? It's such, a, it's such a change to be in a drawing room. Henna? <laughs> yes, but I'm ha. usually in people's kitchens. So I, I can't know. dress up then. I know, but it's so wonderful to know that you've learned something from your auntie. You've learned something from your auntie. You're hai. such an inspiration for me, Auntie Thank Nazi. you, darling. Thank you so I've much. And I'm so proud you. of you. No, and I'm so proud of you. And I'm learning things from you also, by the way. You know, I have to confess, I'm always so confused, perpetually confused when it comes to you. I, you know, I, I can't decide uh, whether to think of you as a very innocent person or a very clever person, really. I'm very innocent. Really? I'm learning everything. Really? Everything from my elders. Hmm. I'm learning everything from you every day. Really? Yes. Thank you so yes. much. And as I said, yes. I'm learning many things from you also. Really? Because I'm thinking that now, from now on, I'll also go around telling people that I can't cook. Makes life so much easier. Nobody expects you to cook anymore. <laughs> then, you know, and then people like Shoaib Akhtar invite you to their homes to teach you cooking. Um, and, you know, and in my case, darling, the, uh, teach, uh, cooking is not the only thing they'll, they'll be teaching me. Because oh. after I've taught them a few things myself also. I'm sure you will. <laughs> yes. So this is your first time on television. Television, it although is. Although you have been associated with media for some time now. I I used to write. Hmm. I've been writing for um, over 10 years now. I've been writing for various hmm. papers and for magazines as well. But this is my first time on television and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Hmm. By the way, I'm being so rude. I'm so sorry. I must introduce you. That's Jamil Dehel. I know Jamil. I know Jamil because I interviewed him, I think, about seven or eight years ago you for the Friday Times. already know Jamil? Yes. You're very smooth, I must <laughs> say. And by the way, you have to share the story with my viewers, really. Yes. Dar Sahaki, you know. The you first, have to hear this. I, I think it's so funny, really. The first episode mm. that came, that we did, the pilot, mm. was Humayu Gohar. Mm. And he was fantastic. He carried the show because I had never been on television before. So I was terrified. I just stood there, wooden. And Humayu chatted. He cooked, he did a brilliant, brilliant aloo gosht, and I just stood there wooden and frozen. I was terrified. And the cameras were rolling, and he was chatting. And Humayu Gohar is the editor of the, the magazine that I write for, um, mm -hmm. Blue Chip. And he was just fabulous. And I was hoping that the second episode would also be like that. But the second one was at Imran Khan's house, and he got his very close friend, Dar to do the cooking because Imran said, I'm not going to step into the kitchen, Zainab. You can have my kitchen. You can do what you want. But I'll just be there at the dining table. So I asked Dar, I said, do you know how to cook? So he said, of course I can cook. Zainab, I can cook Chinese food. I can cook Malaysian food. I can cook Italian food. And he has this very interesting accent. But he, he was making me laugh. And he said he could cook very, very well. So I turned up the next day. He had flown in from Delhi to do this show. Our crew had flown in from Karachi and I was ready. I was going to take him shopping. I said, Dar, what are you going to teach us to cook? And he said, this was literally hours before we were going to prepare. He said, Zainab, I've got a confession to make. I said, what's your confession? Hoping that he was going to tell me some interesting secret, a little bit of gossip. He said, I can't cook. I said, what do you mean? I said, I I don't know how to cook. I had a coronary. This was the second episode. I didn't know what to do. I just, I, I panicked. But anyway, my mother stepped in because my mother is a domestic goddess. Mm -hmm. She cooked one of these pre-prepared lambs. She did one roast lamb, which was prepared. And then she did one roast lamb, which was unprepared. Mm -hmm. And then she said, Zainab, just lay out these ingredients mm -hmm. and tell him that all he needs to do is say, marinate the mm. lamb with all of these ingredients. Mm. So that was fantastic. And then we took out the lamb from the, mm. from the oven afterwards. Except I didn't realize that he didn't even know the terminology. So I'd explained it to him. And when we watched the show afterwards, I realized that he hadn't used the word marinate. He'd used the word lubricate. So we were watching the show afterwards on television. And I realized that Dar said, You've got to lubricate the meat with this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Your subjects uh, in your show, your guests really, unki kaun si cheez tumhe attract karti What is it about them? What quality of theirs or what quality uh, in a person attracts you so much that you'd like to go visit their home and learn something from them? I, I think most of these are, are people who are public people. Mm -hmm. And 
I like to see them as they are at home, mm. the side to them that people that they don't show in the public. Mm, mm. Um, it's it's fascinating to see how they are mm. at home, mm. and I don't go in with a script, mm, mm. and it's just fun to see mm. them as they are, au naturel, mm. you know, as it would be. Mm. Um, it's just we go in unscripted, we're just chatting, and you see an aspect mm -hmm. to their personality when they're working and when they're um, subconsciously just um, tampering with food. Mm -hmm. You know, there are interesting things. Food is a way to bond with people. Mm -hmm. Families bond over the dining table, they, fo they bond in the kitchen. Also, um, management training courses mm -hmm. are using food and they're using kitchens to get corporate um, clients to bond, they're getting, um, they're using it as a as a bonding technique mm. for their corporations mm. to bond together. So mm. it's an interesting way to to just watch people mm. to get um, uh, to watch people mm. together. Yes. You, you've been blessed with a very good family, really. Yes, you know, and and even through your uh, well, you went through a, a bad sort of of. of uh, phase in your life really yes. but I think they were all there yes. um, for you yes. <coughs> can we talk about that uh, Zainab my um, my in-laws my family mm. they've been an incredible support to mm. me mm. Um, this past five years they've really stood by me um, mm. like a rock and I wouldn't mm. have been able to manage without them mm. um, my my husband passed away five years mm. ago mm. and my had it not been for my in-laws and my parents mm. and my brothers, I really don't know how I would have managed. My mm. children are also very, very mm. sweet. They're very young, mm. and um, they've. My families have helped me really. Mm. How in, do how do your children time. react to th their mo mother's newly found stardom? Really, you know, <laughs> uh, all of a sudden because you never sort of uh, worked. Uh, you obviously always writing stuff, but you never you never came on TV. And now you came on TV in such a big way that everybody knows Zainab now. Yeah. Uh, so how are the children dealing with 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 your fame? I think they're they're proud of the fact that I'm working, mm. and they're proud of the fact that I'm running the home. Mm and they see it as work. Mm. They don't really see it as stardom mm. or fame mm. or anything like that. They don't see the, that side. They don't look at it as glamour. Mm. They, um, they just see it as work. Mm. And occasionally I get my children to come on the show with me, mm. but my son, um, he's 15 mm. and he's quite funny. He says, Mama, it's not good for my credibility. I'm a 15 year old boy. Mm. Please don't have me come on the show. Mm people won't take me seriously. Mm. <laughs> but you know, how about changing the, the title of the show from Zainab Can't Cook to Zainab Can Cook? No, no, never. Mm. I'm having so much fun learning. But is it really true? You ca I mean, can't you, I mean, you actually don't I know can. how to cook? Of course the truth is that uh, I do know how to mm. cook. Mm. But I just thought it was so much fun. My mother got so upset when I mm. came up with this title. Mm. She said, Mujhe kyu badnaam kare ho? Apne aap ko kyu badnaam kare ho? Mm. Everybody will think that I never taught you anything. Mm. And she was devastated. She mm. said, call it something else. Mm. Call it, Zainab wants to learn a few more dishes. Mm -hmm. I mm. used mm. to cook a lot mm. when, um, uh, before my husband passed away. I used to cook when we were entertaining. Um, but my children now prefer mm. just eating alu gosht, or they want to go to McDonald's, or they want to go to KFC, Pizza Hut, you know, all of these types of places. Mm. And for that, I'd mm. much rather just not mm. you know not cook or employ somebody or have a driver mm. to just go and pick up these things i don't go into the kitchen that much mm. anymore i um i do know how to cook i can cook i'm not i don't have a very vast repertoire but if i was to have a dinner party mm. and there was nobody in the house i could i could put together a few dishes mm. i enjoy cooking and mm. i i like learning mm. i what happened was that i moved into a home of my mm. own a few years mm. ago and I hadn't done the maths. Mm. And I'm a journalist. Mm. And I suddenly realized that the bills were mounting. Mm. I needed to have, I needed to supplement my income. And I'd come home from work tired and I'd switch on the TV and I'd watch all of these shows. I loved watching BBC Food. Mm. And I'd watch people like Nigella. I'd watch people like Jamie Oliver. Mm. And I loved these shows. Mm. And I thought, I couldn't do a show of my own because I'm not a good enough cook. Mm. And I thought, let me think of an idea. Mm. Let me think of something that would be fun. Are you into movies? Do you like watching films? I do. And what kind of films do you like, sweetie? Um, 
I, I love Scorsese. Mm -hmm. um, I also, uh, yeah, I love um, mafia films. I really do. Huh. But I also love um, romance. Mm -hmm. um, mm. A Room with a View, mm. based on Ian Forster's novel. Mm. Um, different, different types of films. I can't say there's a particular genre of film, but mm. um, The Godfather, I mm. think, that mm. classic. Have you seen any of Jamil's uh, films? Yes, have you seen I Immaculate have. Conception? I have seen. Immaculate. And Jinnah? I have seen Jinnah. Yes. And how did you like that? I enjoyed it. Very soon you'll know exactly how to cook yeah. really, really well and cook not just food but other stuff also. You know how it is. Um, I, as I tell people that I can cook stories too. Yeah. Why not? We can cook so much uh, yeah. together. Zainab, thank you so much. Auntie Nazi, thank you so much for being such an inspiration. Really, for me. you must give my I've love and so regards to your you. parents, uh, to your to your children also. I mean, next time I'm in Islamabad, I'm definitely going to look you up also there. You must. We must do that. I'd be delighted um, to have you over.